Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a picture date look. Um, just some hair and makeup that I think would work for your picture. Um, also, I have some tips. So try not to wear too much shimmery type of stuff. You kind of want to stick to more matte finished makeup, especially your skin, because you don't want your skin to be looking all greasy or oily because when the flash goes on, your T-zone tends to be a lot brighter and your cheekbones along with your chin. So another useful thing to have on hand is some blotting papers. And if you can, blot your face a little bit before you take your picture. So um, also, try to have your hair down because if you put your hair up, remember your picture does get caught off about here. So you don't want you know your hair all back and then having, you know, looking like you don't have any hair or anything. But um, yeah, it's pretty much it. So let's continue on with the look. So I'm going to put on some liquid foundation by Revlon and just dotting it on my face with my ring finger and blending it in. Then I'm using a pressed powder also by Revlon to kind of just mattify my foundation and have better coverage. Then I'm using a primer over my eyelids just so the eyeshadow stays and the colors are vibrant. I'm using a Coastal Scents palette and going in with this coppery kind of color over my lid. And then with a crease brush, I'm going to be going in with this dark browner color and go over my crease and then also dab it on the outer area of my eyelid. Then with a blending brush, I'm going to blend those two colors and then with the brown again, I'm going to be kind of running a line on the inner part of my crease so it's a little bit more pigmented. Then with the fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with the matte lighter color and just highlight my brow. And then with a Q-tip that I've dipped in water, I'm going to go in with a shimmery kind of color to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Then with a little bit of brown and a little bit of black, I'm going to line under my eyes, kind of in the waterline area just to define my eyes. Wing it out just a little bit. And then continue on with darkening just along your lash line. Then I'm adding a little bit of liquid liner, not too much, just enough so that my eyes are defined, but mostly the outer part of my eye where the wing is, not putting too much on the rest of my lid. So I'm continuing my waterline and bringing the rest back onto my eyelid to form a cat eye. And that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. Then with the same brush, I'm going to be going with Too Faced palette with the brown color just to fill in my eyebrows and kind of bring the look together and frame my face. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes before I put on some mascara. I'm not too worried about too much on, just enough so that way I have some on and not that much on my lower lashes either because I'm going to be adding some falsies. And you can check out my how to falsies video if you don't know how to put falsies on. Then curl your lashes again, add a little bit of mascara. And then I'm going in with a concealer crayon to kind of just conceal my under eye circles. And it also can be used to highlight since I'm going to be taking a picture. The good thing about this, it's more of matte, so it's not going to be shiny. And then I'm going in with a bronzer just to contour my face, making sure to get the edges of my face as well. Then I'm going in with a lip balm to moisturize my lips before I put the lip tint on. And that's pretty much it for the makeup look. Next I'm going to go ahead and do my hair. So I just slept with the bun, my hair the night before, so this is second day hair and I didn't really care about it so I'm just going to curl it. I'm using a Chi 1 in straightener and I'm just going to be using a piece of hair right next to my face. Holding it vertically, I'm going to twist it outwards as I'm pulling on my hair and I go down. And I have a more detailed video on this in my wavy hair tutorial if you want to know how I do this. So I curl the rest of my hair doing the same technique except curling outwards and inwards so all my hair isn't going the same direction. 
making sure that the pieces of hair right next to my face are going outwards to kind of frame my face. After I've curled all of my hair, I'm going to go in with some hairspray and just spray it through to make sure I get a good hold and then I'm pretty much done. Thanks for watching guys.